It's Amory, and today I'm doing my January wrap up. Now, I read four books this month, but one of them I already told you about. It was part of my January favorites. It was The Duff by Cody Keplinger, so I won't go into that now. So, check out my January favorites if you haven't seen it already. I had the pleasure of reading The Walls Around Us by Nova Rensuma. Now, this book comes out March 24th, so it's not out yet, but I will remind you guys when the time comes because I definitely think it's worth reading. The Walls Around Us is a ghost story, but it's also a mystery. So, there are three main characters and there are two different points of view. One POV belongs to someone who's living and the other POV belongs to someone who died. Now you have three main characters. You have Amber, Violet, or V for short, and you have Oriana, and her nickname is Ori. So we'll just keep it Amber, V, and Ori. So there's Amber, who's locked away in a juvenile detention center, and then there's V, an 18-year-old ballerina who has high hopes, she's really talented, she's going places, and then you have Oriana, and she connects the two girls together. So something happened that ties them all together. The publisher has been calling The Walls Around Us, Orange is the New Black Swan. I totally think that's a, the perfect way to describe uh, The Walls Around Us. Christina from The Lushables also described the story as bloody ballerinas. So yeah, there's, there's some blood and gore going on, but it's not a horror story. The cadence and the writing is so good, it's almost like hypnotic as you read, which is why I think that when you read this book, it's best read in maybe two, three settings, just so you can like stay in the flow of the book. And of course, like the ending, like the, the book just got better and better. It will twist your mind, it's haunting, it's beautiful, it'll confuse you for a second, but only in a way that makes you want to know more. Highly recommend this one. It was actually one of the ones I really wanted to read this year. I heard it was coming out last year and I was like, I definitely have to get my hands on it. So I was able to read it. I'll remind you guys when it comes out on March 24th. This is Where I Leave You by Jonathan Tropper. I won't talk too much about this one. I didn't mean to, but I kind of ended up talking a lot about this book in my January wrap up. To add on to what I said before, which was that it was very funny, the guy's going through a divorce and you kind of see why he's so bitter. It's also interesting to see the dynamics between siblings in a very large family. Although it's not super large, it just felt so much larger. I think there are four siblings, but because their spouses were in town and their children were in town, the family just felt so much larger than what it was. I really enjoyed the book. It was really, really funny. It was hard to like some of the characters, especially the main character, Judd, just because he made so many sexist comments. Like literally there was never a time where a woman could walk in the room without him sizing her up sexually as far as her sexual attractiveness. But to be fair, he kind of sized everyone up that way. I mean, he had something to say about someone's physical appearance, whether they were a male or female. Maybe that's just him. On some level, he's just superficial. Still enjoyed this one. It was a quick read. It was funny. Finally, we have Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. This is a suspense, uh, a suspense story, a thriller, and it's post-apocalyptic as well. This story is not very long, but I read this in one day, like I could not stop turning the pages. It's extremely suspenseful, you just want to know what happens next. We follow a woman on the day she's about to take her children outside for the first time. All we know is that all the blankets have been covered for the last, I think, four years that they've never seen outside because when everything started, everything, whatever that is, people were saying it was something that they saw, something that made everyone go crazy and kill themselves or kill other people. It just made everyone go mad. So people started, you know, staying inside, not looking out the window because even that can affect you so they've been like shut out and when they go outside for instance to collect water from the well they go in blindfolds and they have like a path that they know how to follow and she's taught her children how to survive without seeing anything outside but they have very keen ears because they've learned from a young age to listen for any slight sound so the story kind of gives you two separate timelines we follow the family as they're about to head outside and then we also go back to the beginning of you know this epidemic and we see kind of like how it affected her and her family and the world at large. Very suspenseful. You keep turning the pages because you just have to know what happens next. And that was my January wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bird Box is out now. This is where I leave you is out now. But The Walls Around Us by Nova Rensuma is coming out March 24th. So mark your calendars. But I'll remind you guys anyway because it's something I really think would be a cool read. If you're into that ghost mystery haunting tale, Basically, orange is the new black swan. If you're into that, yeah, so I'll remind you. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to tell me what you read in January, especially if you loved it, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. Until next time, bye! Today, my January favorites. A couple of these are skincare and they're relatively new. Um, I just started using them. I sampled them first, but I love them so much I had to get them. 
Bosha Cool Blue Hydration Essence. 